Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 14th to the 20th of June, 2021. I hope you're well Capricorn. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching oracle cards. So I've got a couple of oracle decks and then we will pull your overarching tarot card and then pull the rest of the tarot cards for you for the week. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, the card of forgiveness. Message for Capricorn, please. Angels Spirits Guides. Message for Capricorn, please. What do we have for Capricorn for the week? What is the message Capricorn needs to hear? So we have Turquoise, Awaken Your Empathy, number 34. Uh, empathy can be seeing something from somebody else's point of view, being in their shoes, being empathetic to their feelings, and so on and so forth. Them to you, you to them. Okay, let's pull your overarching energy. What do we have, please, angels, spirits, guides? So we have the three of pentacles here, Capricorn. It's actually Capricorn energy that. Okay, so let's pull some cards and see what we have for you, Capricorn. What is the message for Capricorn, please? What does Capricorn need to hear the most? Two of Wands is your challenge. There you are, Capricorn, in the advice from spirit. You are the Queen of Coins, male or female energy. And we have the Queen of, Queen of Swords. So card of Libra, that is your energy. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for a lot of Capricorns, thank you. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Can we clarify the cards on the table? 14th to the 20th of June, 2021. Okay, a few cards there, Capricorn. Let's go with it. So we have the Eight of Swords. There we have that. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Swords. So Queen of Coins, Queen of Wands, my goodness, three queens, there could be a powerful feminine energy or a powerful female influencing this. Let's pull another one for the Queen of Coins, so we've got the King of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords, okay, thank you. So we have Judgment, I mean she is a Judgment energy as well. Uh, it, it feels, it feels very cold. And we have the world. I'm going to pull a couple of clarifiers. Let's do you, Capricorn, the Queen of Coins. Uh, we've got Justice here, which again is Libra and Energy. And let's do the Queen of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. I'm going to pull one for this judgment. What is this judgment, please? The High Priestess. Okay, 
I'm going to pull one for this two of wands. It feels like some of you are thinking about starting legal proceedings. You know. Page of wands. I'm going to uh, do the three of coins as well while we're at it. I'm definitely getting legal proceedings here. There's a lot to do with the law. Or maybe getting some information um, or legal advice. I have the Nine of Cups here, Capricorn. I'm going to pull one more for that one. Interesting, I've got the Three of Pentacles there again. Uh, let's pull one more for that Three of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, please, Angel Spirits Guides. We have, yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck, actually, I did look. I have the Eight of Wands, so I'm going to pop that down there too. Capricorn. Um, There's love here. Somebody wants to bring emotional stability back to a situation. They want to nurture something. Um, they still care. Somebody still cares. And their hope, their dream, their wish with the Nine of Coins is that they can rebuild something with you. Uh, the Three of Coins is a Capricorn energy, but it feels like this is, this is, this is you and your power. Um, so there's definitely an energy of somebody is, uh, it feels is offering you a cup, love, romance, relationships, um, you are their heart's desire. There's definitely an energy of they wish to rebuild, uh, solid foundations with you because something's happened here that has caused you to make a major choice, a major decision, uh, from a position of power, I have to say. And I feel that they are asking for forgiveness in this situation. So we will see what happens here. Um, because the, the page of wands is, it can be about manifesting a new path, the page of wands. I'm ready to give it a go. I'm starting a new path. I'm going my own way. Um, it feels some of you are... You're ready to liberate yourself. I mean, it's also a, a free spirit energy, funny enough. So the, with the Ten of, of Pentacles being here, this can be a committed relationship, a committed marriage. But you are making some significant choice or the challenge is to make some significant choice, maybe about liberating yourself from that. You've been giving some deep thought here to how you move forward here. Ten of Coins is generally a card of uh, marriage, com long-term committed relationship. Uh, it feels very, very, something that's of value, something that's so stable and secure and sustainable here. But this can also be a card of recovery, you know, recovery. Um, giving some very deep thought, serious thought to what this is. Because we have the Eight of Swords and something is making you think negatively towards it. You might be blocking somebody, not talking to somebody. Um, I mean, there's levels to this card, but this is an energy of, I don't know if I see a future with this person because something's happened. There's a reason why you are in your own head with the Eight of Swords. Something is a catalyst for making that happen. And this, this is a card of negative thinking, negative thinking towards this predicament that you're in. Um, and the challenge to potentially make a choice, maybe liberating from this. And that's what you're at. You're at that threshold here. It's a challenge, which it would be. It, this is why you're giving it very serious consideration. Because the Queen of Coins with the Justice card, it can be to do with 
Uh, she is somebody who only wants to embrace growth. She's somebody who, I mean, there's definitely an energy of taking care of you, taking care of yourself financially, taking care of yourself health-wise, taking care of yourself sleep-wise, uh, the, the daily routine, the practical things that you need to do. Um, you're taking care of you, Capricorn, and that's the advice from Spirit too. But for some of you, this might well be you're considering where you see growth, where you see value in a situation, and you may well be considering legal option. It doesn't feel like you've made a decision yet, but I feel for some of you, you might be seeking legal advice because again, the King of Swords with the Queen of Wands, this is about taking intuitive action. It feels right just to speak to somebody to do with the law, to do with legal advice, to do with getting some sound advice on how I move forward in a situation. And it's from a position of being in your power. It's from a position of taking control of a situation. It's from a position of maybe dealing with a truth that has come to light, that has caused you to think and react negatively to someone, that has forced you to a threshold of making some choice or decision on how you move forward. And you're getting, and you feel in this situation, Spirit is saying, yeah, yeah, by all means, make sure that you are fully informed. Make sure you are getting the help you need and you are fully informed of how you move forward. And it might well be for some of you, that's what you're doing to protect you. Like I said, there could be a female of influence in this situation because I've got three queens. Because there is some judgment call to make here, Capricorn, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, because somebody doesn't want this to end. They are reaching out, wanting to make something right. They are offering you their cup on a plate. But I feel with that Queen of Swords, and I feel this is your energy, you are, there's a kind of cold reception. There's definitely a cold reception to whatever this is. It can be about giving some deep thought to this before you make some kind of judgment call. But I feel in this situation, this other person wants to rebuild this relationship with you. Uh, it's obviously you've spent a long time together. There is history there. There is value there. Interestingly enough, have I got any? This is the only cup on the table. And I feel this is what's being offered to you. So I'm feeling in this, and yeah, we've got these here, but I'm feeling here, this is the predicament. This is what's being offered to you. And I feel that there is some cold judgment, cold reception somebody's getting as a result of their actions. The High Priestess is make sure that you are fully clear Um, before making some kind of judgment call. Make sure this is the right decision for you. Sometimes she can be about things that are hidden. Um, so it's really listening to your intuition. It's really connecting to um, how you deeply feel about a situation before you make some judgment call. Because the judgment call is a card of making a final decision on somebody or giving somebody a second chance. So there's definitely an energy if somebody wants to rebuild this, this is the a dominating energy. Somebody sees you as their heart's desire, your hopes, dreams and wishes here. They want to rebuild that happiness and they are offering that to you on a plate. You might have been seeking some legal advice here, but there's definitely an energy of some judgment call to make. You are at this gateway here, Capricorn, uh, but generally with judgment, whatever judgment decision this is, it was going to stay with you for quite a long period of time. It's a karmic decision, so be very careful um, on your choices, which is why the High Priestess is here, because she is really saying to you, make sure that you're fully clear, fully, fully clear in all aspects of feelings, clarity, information available to you before you make that choice or decision. 
And then we have the world card, which is a card of completion. Now, this can be about the ending of one cycle and being re ready to step into another. You know, that might be rebuilding this with somebody. This might be giving somebody a second chance. This might also be giving some, give, going your own way. Drawing a line under something. A, a major cycle is completing and going your own way. Stepping through to a new phase of your life. Somebody, and it's interesting again, I've got the High Priestess here too. This is about digging deep here. This is about really listening to she can be about subconscious energy as well paying attention to dreams um, there's definitely an energy here Capricorn maybe signs as well there could be some signs synchronicities that you're being sent by the universe this week and it's just helping you make some kind of clear decision or choice because there's definitely an energy if somebody wants to bring change to a situation, they want to move forward. Um, again, it feels like there's, uh, it feels like a conversation, some communication here may bring some enlightenment and positive change. Um, and there's an energy here of before you make any decision, before you dismiss this, because the Queen of Swords is, is quite a cold energy. Um, just, this is about be empathetic. You know, see things from somebody else's perspective, stand in their shoes, you know, whatever this is, because there's definitely an energy of somebody wants forgiveness. This high priestess is really telling you to connect to your soul energy, get some deep enlightenment here. Um, and when you have that, you will understand how you need to move forward. It will feel right. You know, if, if we, what you're doing is a logical approach, but it doesn't feel right, then this is about listening to your intuition and understanding where your intuition wants to lead you because this is a divine nudge from the universe as well. So there's an opportunity to give some, someone's asking for a second chance, Capricorn. Uh, whatever they've done, it feels like it's been serious enough to force you to be at that threshold of choosing a path. Um, so it must be something quite significant. However, that high priestess energy is be really clear about making some kind of judgment call. Don't make it without your emotions involved. And that's what you're being told. Yeah. So let's pull you a final card. But, you know, this is a beautiful energy. Um the rebuilding energy, the happy, uh, joyous, reasons to be thankful energy with the Nine of Cups, celebratory energy with the Nine of Cups as well. One card's turned that way. Yeah, we have new beginnings. The Fairy Godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your baby, protect and nurture your idea as you would a baby. Yeah, I feel for some of you, maybe there is some clarity that comes from within. High Priestess is highly empathetic. And in fact, it might well be for those of you who are empaths. You may well be getting some guidance here as well in terms of how to move forward some signs, symbols, messages, synchronicities. On your intention, yeah. We have pure intention. The Fairy of Manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention for the highest good of all. Again, these energies can be vice versa, Capricorn. Um, so that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.